Hello and welcome back to GunPetEat.com, where we help you determine which foods your pet can and cannot eat. In this video, we are going to answer the question, can dogs eat boba? In this video, we will explain exactly what boba are, why dogs can or cannot eat them, and more. We'll also share with you a few foods that are similar that they should absolutely stay away from. So, be sure to watch this entire video to learn if your dog can eat boba. Be sure to like, subscribe, and pour the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. Also, click the first link in the description for a free guide to train your dog. Question of the day, what has your dog gotten into that scared the daylights out of you? Comment below and your comment may be pinned and featured in a future video. Have you heard about black pearls mixed in milk tea? Thankfully, we are now introduced to a new delectable, convenient drinking experience out of humans' endless innovation, boba. People called it bubble tea, and some may term it as pearl tea. But no matter what they call it, the delicious taste and an unexplainable delight are reassured every time boba gushes into your tongue. Plus, it's best to share it with your significant other and loved ones. And does that include your dogs on the list? Can dogs eat boba? You may pause and continue with your curiosity right here. That's why we feed you with the correct information by looking deeper into the nature of boba, its benefits and perils to your dog's health, plus ways on how to make this food safe for your dog's feeding. What is boba? Boba, or also known as bubble tea, is made from tapioca starch. It originated in Taiwan, and it has become a trend that spread out to other parts of the world where there are Asian cuisine restaurants. Boba can be served both hot or cold, depending on your preference. Interestingly, there are different versions of boba worldwide. For instance, the Philippine version is called Sagot Gulamon, created by mixing the pearls with sugar and drinking it through a straw. However, in Thailand, they serve boba iced milk tea, where the drink itself has no added flavorings or sweeteners aside from what's naturally contained in the ingredients used. It can be served plain, but most people mix it with flavored syrup, fruit jellies, or even ice cream. Boba is also known as tapioca pearls which are small balls of starch that can be chewy and slippery in texture. Food family of boba. Boba belongs to the food family of cassava starch balls, a root vegetable that belongs to the yam family. This family comes with variants, besides the famous tapioca pearls, grass jelly, pandan jelly, sago, and more. Not only does boba come from a healthy food category, but it is also beneficial for your health because of its nutrients and fiber content. The tapioca pearls are low in calories yet high in vitamins such as vitamin A, B, C, and E, which can help prevent diseases caused by free radicals. It also has lots of minerals, calcium, magnesium, iron, and dietary fiber that can help promote digestion. There are no reports of boba having side effects, although some people who have gluten intolerance should avoid eating it because the tapioca pearls are made from the cassava root, a flour-like substance. Also, some people are allergic to tapioca pearls, they can experience mild gastrointestinal distress. Can dogs eat boba? Yes. Dogs can eat the pearls and other ingredients that are contained in boba, such as the grass jelly and fruit jellies. As mentioned, boba can help prevent diseases caused by free radicals. It also has lots of dietary fiber, which is beneficial for your health and helps promote digestion. Alongside, the nutrients in them can keep your dog healthy as well since they contain vitamin A, B, C, and E, calcium, magnesium, iron, and dietary fiber that can help your dog's entire system become more muscular. It's best to feed boba in moderation. Otherwise, too much boba intake suggests health risks like constipation and obesity due to starch, sugar, and fat content, which slows down your dog's digestive system. In keeping your dog always in shape, here are the best ways to feed your dogs with boba. Best ways to feed your dogs with boba. Mix boba using natural sweeteners such as honey or molasses. It's best to mix natural sweeteners such as honey or molasses with boba to help reduce sugar and starch intake levels. For example, you can mix 100 grams of boba with half a teaspoon full of honey or molasses to make it sweet enough for your dog's taste bud. Make homemade fruit jellies using natural ingredients. It is best to make your fruit jellies using organic ingredients such as organic fruits and vegetables without any additives. For example, you can make fruit jelly by mixing sliced apples or pears with boba to give it a refreshing taste that dogs will surely love. Also, 
You can add a teaspoon of cinnamon to make the apple and pear flavor more distinct. Add boba to kibble and wet food. You can add small amounts of boba by mixing it in the dry kibble you feed them, as well as adding it when cooking your dog's usual meal using water or a broth. For example, you can add a tablespoon or two full of boba to the wet food that your dog usually eats when adding water to make it more delicious and flavorful. Reasons why dogs can eat boba. Since dogs can eat boba, this food also has benefits in sustaining their health. Hence, we list down below the following improvements your dog may experience. Improvement in dental health. Dental hygiene is essential for your dog's overall health. Since boba can help remove food particles stuck between teeth, it helps eliminate bacterial growth that contributes to plaque buildup and tooth decay. Also, its anti-inflammatory properties are effective against gum disease. Improvement in arthritis condition. Dogs suffering from arthritis should be given boba to help relieve pain, reduce inflammation and improve joint health. It is best if your dog is given boba in the morning before meals since it helps increase metabolism, which promotes the absorption of nutrients that are crucial for promoting healthy joints. Improvement in the digestive system. Dogs have a short digestive tract where food travels faster than humans, thus, the nutrients are absorbed more quickly. Dogs can benefit from boba's dietary fiber that helps maintain the healthy digestive system by softening stools and promoting regularity to avoid constipation which may cause discomfort when traveling. Possible concerns when eating boba. Of course, this food may cause your attention since boba could worsen your dog's health condition. Your dog may enjoy boba today, but here are possible concerns that your dog may suffer in the long period. Allergy. If your dog is allergic to boba, he might experience side effects such as vomiting and diarrhea when eating it. You can give boba a small amount for a week or two, then monitor if any signs of allergies may arise after taking this food before giving it regularly. Also, you should consult with your veterinarian if you are not sure. Constipation. As mentioned above, since boba can help improve the digestive system by increasing dietary fiber intake, which softens stools and promotes regularity to avoid constipation, it may cause bloating when your dog overeats this food in a single day or every other day. It would help if you gave your dog a break from this food to avoid bloating. Gastrointestinal problems. Since boba can help improve your dog's gastrointestinal system by promoting healthy digestion, it may worsen the symptoms of existing ailments such as irritable bowel syndrome and inflammatory colon disease. You should avoid giving your dog this food if he is already experiencing these conditions to prevent worsening of his condition. Signs your dog is sick from eating boba. Does your dog act unusual after eating boba? Does your dog's health decline after giving him this food? Here are some symptoms that may indicate your dog is sick from eating boba. Vomiting. If you have noticed vomiting after feeding him with boba, it means he has an upset stomach. You should stop giving this food to him immediately since it can worsen his health condition even more if no changes are made. Diarrhea. If you have noticed diarrhea, it means he has food poisoning and should be treated immediately by a vet to avoid dehydration that may lead to severe illness or even death when left untreated. You can monitor your dog's condition from time to time if his health is not yet stable after treatment with the help of a veterinarian. Loss of concentration. Loss of concentration and drowsiness may result from liver damage that your dog is experiencing. It means he has high levels of toxins in the blood, so it should be monitored if this condition will worsen or not. Your vet can help recommend medication to treat his health condition depending on how severe the symptoms are. What to do if your dog is sick from eating boba? If your dog's symptoms of sickness persist, you have to be calm and composed to have a clear mind to treat your dog's health condition immediately. You should take your dog to a vet if you cannot do it yourself since his life may be in danger without proper treatment. During your dog's consultation, your vet will ask you specific questions such as what food your dog has eaten and how much of it. They may also ask if he has been excessively drinking water after eating boba which can negatively affect his health. You must note your dog's condition after giving him this food to determine if his health will improve or not before feeding it regularly. If there are no changes, you can continue giving boba in small amounts regularly but monitor closely for any signs of adverse effects so you know when to stop giving it to him. Avoid similar foods from this family. Arrowroot. Arrowroot is a similar food derived from the same family as boba which means they may share some of the same ingredients. However, 
It is essential to note that arrowroot does not contain any caffeine, unlike in boba. As mentioned earlier, caffeine can cause adverse effects when consumed by dogs, like having an upset stomach and diarrhea due to its stimulating effect on their nervous system. Beans and lentils. Since boba is made of beans, it cannot be avoided that your dog may experience flatulence after eating his meal with boba in it, such as when he eats beans or lentils because they are also legumes like boba. This happens when there is a buildup of gas in the stomach or intestines because these foods contain particular types of carbohydrates that dogs cannot digest. Plums. Since plums are also fruits, it has high levels of sugar, which can increase your dog's blood glucose level making him hyperactive if he overeats. It is best to restrict the number of plums given to your dog daily and avoid feeding them with this fruit. How to make boba safe to eat. The relationship between your dog's health and the food we feed matters in preparation. It begins with how you achieve a manageable, safe table diet and provide for your dog. That's why, as your toolkit, we prepared this section for you on how to make boba safe for your feeding. Introduce boba to your dog gradually. Similar to our first impressions of a foreign dish, dogs are also related to a distinguishing factor of new food, such as the texture and taste, which will determine if they like it or not. So, you may gradually feed your dog with small amounts of grain on your dog's meal without having an upset stomach caused by allergies or sensitive ingredients. Check adverse effects after eating. It is best to monitor your dog's health after giving him this food. If there are no changes, you can continue giving boba in small amounts regularly but be on the lookout for any signs of adverse effects, so you know when to stop feeding it with his meal. Always consult your vet about feeding this food. Your vet knows the best for your dog. In this circumstance, you may ask your vet about the best food to give your dog so you will not have a hard time deciding what options are available. They can also guide you on how much of this food should be given and the frequency and monitor if there is an adverse effect caused by it or not. Hopefully, we've helped you decide if the food was safe to eat. If we did, be sure to check out a free guide to turn your good doggy into a great doggo. Also, comment below if you'd like us to help you determine if your pet can eat other types of foods. Disclaimer, Can Pet Eat does not intend to provide veterinary advice. We go to great lengths to help users better understand their dogs. However, the information provided is not a substitute for veterinary guidance. Please be advised we are not veterinarians. Always consult your veterinarian.